being a good person is actually not so difficult. What it means is that we seek to empathize with the sufferings of other human beings. And what this means is that we simply think about what it would be like to go through what they're going through. It's just that simple. The second side of this is that we don't perform acts of revenge. To be a good person, one must banish vindictiveness. Vindictiveness is one of the most corroding things that a person can do to their character. And the individual who tries to get even, or tries to be vindictive, or tries to punish someone else, even though they think that they are actually harming the person that they're trying to attack, they are actually destroying themselves. Their character is being shredded into nothing. Because no one wants to be friends with a cruel person, with an evil person, with a narcissist that wants to punish you when you do something wrong, that when you make a mistake, this individual wants to tell all of your secrets that you told them in confidence to the world to try and defame you or poison the well against you. That, my friends, is an act of low character and shame. And this is what people try to do to get even with other people. But in context, in reality, this is a despicable act, and it defines the individual who does it as being spiteful, petty, and immature. The way to live in this world and to be successful in cooperating with other human beings is to not only think of oneself, but to think of the suffering of other people. That is so vital and so important. And this is the advice that I would give. Don't be spiteful. Don't seek revenge. Don't seek to destroy other people. But when you are wounded, and this is the true test of the character of a human being, do not bite back, but try hard to continue to love. The world is full of cruel people. People who want to destroy other people to make up for a sense of powerlessness that they have in themselves. And they want to try to make up for their defect by attacking other people and by bullying other people. But this is what ugliness looks like. The reason that we are altruistic and empathetic is because it has to do with aesthetics. That is to say, with beauty. This is what I say. The world is full of hateful people that want to bring you down and that want to tear you down. Ignore them and simply try to be the best human being that you can possibly be. Do not react or respond to their viciousness, to their vindictiveness. Ignore it and continue to love and work on your character, even though you're surrounded by a world of hate.